Let's go, we made it. Like old times. What is going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and I have made it to Istanbul, Turkey. Now, I'm sorry if I screwed up that pronunciation. Everyone's saying I'm saying that wrong, but we are here, and we went from a seven-hour flight from Boston to Amsterdam, and then another three-hour flight from Amsterdam to Istanbul. So, it was a long traveling day, but we made it. Look at this view from the hotel room. We're staying at the Renaissance. Ooh, unbelievable. Crazy. That right there, that thingy, that's the bridge over to Asia. So freaking dope. This place is honestly unbelievable. And well, it's time to talk about why I'm here. I am getting a hair transplant. Dr. Sinek, so the Sinek Hair Hospital reached out to me about a year ago. And I said no originally. It was never something I really considered. And obviously, honestly, it's a sensitive subject. I never have talked about this publicly before, so please bear with me as I try to be as transparent as I can about what's going to be happening with me over the next year, honestly, because I have to film 12 video sequence of the transformation of my hair over the next year. But really, my main hope of this video is it can help people who are in a similar situation to me, honestly. I started losing my hair two to three years ago, and I didn't even notice until YouTube told me. I started recognizing it in videos, and then comments started coming in saying, bro, you're losing your hair. I'm like... Now I have to think about this every time I film. Damn. It's been in the back of my mind ever since I started to really notice it. I mean the front. Ah, sorry, you have to see this shit. Like aliens. Oh, let's look at this instead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but really aliens, it's like the front, when my hair started growing out longer, I could hide it because you can just comb it to the side and shit. But look back, that's really what started to make me be like, I gotta make a difference. It really started thinning in the back there. And I'll just show right now a picture of when my hair is a little longer so you can like really see it come through. It's not too pretty, but that's when I realized, okay, it's time. I'm gonna put my hat back on real quick. There we go. But that's when I really noticed like, it's time to start making some decisions of how I wanna deal with this. And I started off doing a year of keeps. So I've been doing keeps for a year and I've been doing the minoxidil and the finasteride. So the minoxidil is that foam that you rub on the back of your head, the front of your head, and it sparks a little bit of regrowth and helps stop it from getting worse. And the finasteride is a pill that you take every single morning. So the minoxidil is the foam in the morning, in the afternoon, and the finasteride, that pill in the morning. And it's something that you have to do for the rest of your life. And as soon as you stop, the hair is going to go back to how it would naturally be. So it is a lifetime thing that you have to do. And it was something I was like, whatever about, because think about it. Like you take multivitamins, you take fish oil every single day. What's the difference between taking a hair pill too, or rubbing some foam in your hair, you know, but that wasn't really the problem. The problem was it was already to a point where it wasn't going to get too much better. Like, I would have had to have some pretty significant regrowth in order for my hair to not show up on camera as like a balding spot or a really bad recession in the front of my head. And me being on camera all the time is one of the main reasons I'm doing something much more serious, like getting a freaking hair transplant. It's not something that I really have ever considered before, especially because I'm 25 years old. Now, the hair loss is not because of steroids. I do not take performance enhancing drugs. Let's make that clear right now. My family is prone to baldness. They all start losing their hair. My uncles, my dad, my grandpa, my mom's side, my dad's side. So I knew this was gonna happen at some point. It sucks it's happening at 25, but it is what it is. So yeah, a year ago, Cynic Hospital hit me up. They watched one of my YouTube videos and was probably like, dude, this kid needs a hair transplant. Let's hit him up. And I said no in the beginning because I never thought I would be coming to Turkey, but I mean, the opportunity just presented itself. I got a free ride to Turkey, a free stay, a free hair transplant. I'm like, why the hell wouldn't I do this? And I know it's kind of crazy if you're from the US thinking about going to Turkey. It's not something that everyone does, but it was an opportunity that I wanted to just go after because I know myself. And if I didn't do it, I'd be overthinking it like crazy. Every time I look in the mirror, I'd be like, why didn't I try? Why didn't I take the risk? Why didn't I do something to make myself happier. Every time I look in the mirror now, it's not like I'm depressed. I don't think hair loss is at all something that you need to be ashamed of. Obviously, a lot of men get self-conscious because of it. A lot of women maybe even so. I don't know how much it works regarding women, but for men at least, it's like when you start losing your hair, it's definitely a big hit. <laughs> It really hurts. <laughs> Mentally, it's a very hard thing to get through. And I had the decision, do I just bick my head? I shave my head, which is why it's so short right now on Halloween, because I wanted to see what I look like pretty much bald. And 
it looked pretty decent for a day or two. And then it started to grow back and I was like, yeah, this is way worse. Now all of the bad parts are showing so much more. So it was time to make this big decision. In the next few days, I hit the hospital back up and was like, yo, I'm ready. We booked my trip, headed out and we're here right now. So <laughs> I'm getting that FUE hair transplant. I'll be documenting the procedure itself, the after, and of course that transformation over the next year you'll be seeing exactly what happens and I'll be as transparent as I can. And a really cool fact about Turkey is they're actually number one in the world for hair transplants. I'm really excited to see how this operation goes. I am told it's like a seven hour procedure. We shall see, I hope it doesn't hurt too much. They do numb the area. I heard that part hurts a pretty good amount, but after that, you don't feel too much. Again, I'll let you know. <laughs> and another thing to consider is in the United States, hair transplants are incredibly expensive. They can be over $20,000, where in Turkey, it's like 10,000 euro. I don't know exactly what that translates to USD, but I'm getting it for free. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And that's why I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. Now you know why I'm here, aliens. And now I just wanna have a quick talk about being confident with who you are as a person because the last thing I want is for anyone watching this to think that they should not be confident with who they are if they are losing their hair. I'm doing this because it will make me happier. That is the only reason I am doing this. For no one else, for me. That is incredibly important to hear. And I think anyone who is considering doing something like this should think about why they're actually doing it. Obviously, there's an external factor of people seeing you and maybe judgments coming by, but that isn't something I care about as much as the judgment that I pass onto myself. When I look into the mirror, I'm happy with who I am. And at the exact same time, I look at my hair and I'm like, you know what? This is life and it is my decision of how I want to handle this. Do I just let it be? Do I shave it completely or do I do something about it? And I am making the decision to do something about it. And the decision is completely my own. I know I'm gonna be on camera for a long time. I don't want to have to worry about angles. It's not the comments that come back from some of you calling me out. It's me editing the videos and being like, Ugh. It's an aesthetic thing, honestly, too. It's one of those things, and personally, I know I'm gonna be a much more confident, happy person when I have a better head of hair. And another really important thing to hear is it took me a few years to get to this point, and it took me a lot of time to consider this. Again, they hit me up a year ago, and I said no. It wasn't just because of Turkey, it was because I didn't think about getting an operation on my freaking head. Like, that's insane to me. And honestly, it still is. I'm here right now, and I'm getting the surgery, tomorrow and I'm thinking, holy shit, I'm actually getting a freaking hair transplant. This is insane. <laughs> but I know like three months from now, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, I'm so happy I did this. And that exact idea of how I'm gonna feel in three months was such a motivation behind me actually pursuing this. I'm lucky, I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be having this opportunity and I'm excited to show the progress the transformation, my personal mentality change, and everything that goes along with this operation. And I really, really, really hope it can kind of give clarity of the process to a lot of you who are gonna be watching and wondering the same things about yourself. It's definitely always been a controversial thing, especially in the United States. Like you don't see many people or hear many people talking about getting hair transplants in the States. I do think it's becoming something more normal though. Not that that's even important, but I know there's gonna be some people who are like, why would you do that? You shouldn't change your body. You need to love yourself. And yo, I do love myself. I've learned how to love myself. And me doing this is embracing that love for myself because I know it will make me happier. It's not about being self-conscious with who I am. If I didn't get this, I would still love myself. I just wouldn't be freaking pumped about my head. But like, we all have flaws. We all have things we don't love about ourselves. You don't have to change them. But if you want to, and you know it will improve your life quality or just make you simply happier, that is the most important factor in everything. And I think a lot of us don't do things because we're worried about opinions of other people. And that is completely wrong, in my opinion. I'm doing this for me. I know it's gonna make me happier. I'm gonna look at myself in six months and be freaking pumped I made this decision. As long as it goes well, it better go well. It's really one of those things that needs to be a decision that you make for yourself. Do not make a huge decision like this for anyone else except to make you happier. 
That is what matters. And I cannot preach that enough, aliens. Here's actually another way to think about it. You work out to get in better shape, to make yourself physically better. Obviously, there's a ton of health benefits behind it, but a lot of us do it for a confident reason. A lot of us lift and work out and exercise whatever way we exercise to get in better shape, get in better physical shape, to make yourself appear better, to make yourself feel better. What's really the difference with what I'm doing here? Obviously, it's a surgery which is the biggest difference, but I'm doing this to make myself appear differently, to make myself feel better about myself, to go out in public and be the most confident me possible, to be in private and be the most confident me possible. That is why I'm doing this. So obviously working out and getting a hair transplant aren't too comparable, but the mindset is somewhat similar in at least that regard of improving your physical appearance for yourself and for going out there and just being the best you because you're happy as hell with what you look like, how you feel, and you're just being you. That's what matters. So I'm not gonna keep rambling on about me getting this hair transplant. I'd rather just show you the process as we go through it. The main takeaway I want you to get from this little talk is you need to do what's gonna make you happy. And I hope this video showing the process over the next year is gonna really help a lot of you who may be considering the same thing. Let's get after it together as always. Time to go chase a quick pump, then we're gonna enjoy the city, and then we'll go over some more of the operation details and show you more of that process tomorrow. It's time to get these gains, aliens. So they told me I can't work out after I get this hair transplant. Ah, fuck, that's crazy, but I'm gonna look so sexy after I get this new hair. <laughs> Today we're gonna be hitting back and biceps. I'll be working out with Connor. Now look at this gym for the hotel. Two stories, whoa. It's actually pretty freaking dope. Actually, it's really dope. Are your pots keep falling out. Look at this. I'm gonna chase a pump. Hello. Bunch of machines. Yes. Pretty dope. Got a ton of stuff down here. This is just one section. Walk upstairs. Second floor, baby. Let's go. Got the hot tub and pool. Then let's go into the gym. Here's the second floor, the weights. They got a bench press, a Smith machine, a cable system. They got literally everything here. And the weights, they go up to 40 kilos. Pretty freaking dope. Hey, Aliens, do some math for us in the comments. How much is 40 kilos of pounds? Times 2.2. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what What's the that, version. 90, like 95 pounds? I don't know, that's math, dude. <laughs> Dude, we just lift weights, man. <laughs> we just lift weights and put them down. Let's get these gains. Time we crush back and biceps. Connor, what's the game plan? All right, we're gonna start with 20 to 25 total neutral grip pull-ups. Then we're gonna dip into a alternating lap pull. It's one of my favorite back exercises. Then we'll do incline dumbbell row. We're gonna keep it super functional because we wanna go see the city, so we're gonna try to keep it 50 to 60 minutes today. Yeah, and of course we're gonna crush biceps. You know, of course. <laughs> Charlotte's dudes in Turkey. <laughs> to go. Ah, time to go toward the city. All right, aliens. So first on our list is the Blue Mosque. We're in a different planet, aliens. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, man. Let's go. Now we're gonna go check out the Hagia Sophia. of 
photography is absolutely incredible. You can't get this on a Google search, you actually gotta come here and see it, it's crazy. Absolutely eye-opening. Next up on the list, aliens, we're going to the Grand Bazaar. Yes, sir. Let's go. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> you can't just walk through literally every single store is trying to get your attention and get you into their market. Luckily, they're not speaking English, so I have no idea what they're saying. So we're just like, sure. Freaking starving now. We're gonna stop and get some food. Chicken shawarma. Oh. Awesome. Nice. Thank you, Will. Bye. Bye. First bite. Unreal. That's crap. Straight crack. <laughs> wow, that's very good. Yeah, bro. Time to try the Turkish coffee. Coffee? Whoa! Whoa. Dude, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> you know, how do we approach it? First time trying the Turkish coffee. Dude, that's pretty bomb. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Ready? Three, two, one. I rip it. There you go, boss. Whoa. Jesus. Like a dragon. Look at that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good work. Unbelievable day, aliens. It has been absolutely incredible checking out the city, and I cannot wait to see more. I'm checking out for today, though. Tomorrow, early morning, the surgery. I'll talk to you then. Aliens, it is the day. Going over to the Civic Hair Hospital now. Keep you informed of the process. Aliens, I don't need the surgery. Well, my two years. <laughs> Welcome to the Mars Rover, aliens. Last time you'll ever see me like this, aliens. Last time. Hi, hello, Mike. How are you? We are very happy to see you in our hospital. Please welcome to Dr. Jeanette Hospital Hair Transplantation Hospital. We are very excited as well to have you in our hospital. And uh, I'm sure you will encourage new patients from the USA to visit us and to stay happy with the results. Welcome. Welcome, please. Hi, how are okay, you? Okay, Miss Burju now is coming. <laughs> How's everything? It's good, it tastes awesome. You told us we were gonna go party. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just check what's happening and then after that I'll let you know. So I'll assist you today and then we will go to see the doctor's city. But before, before that we need to take the blood to use the PRP treatment. And then after that, uh, after the consultation, we will just go to the operation diet. Okay? Sounds good. We'll just be ready. Thank you. What's up, aliens? It's the flow meister. All right, so tell me some of your thoughts going into this body. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Nice. So she's ready now. Great. Thank you. Okay, you just take this off. Yeah, take off. We are gonna use this, your blood to do your PRP treatment. PRP treatment, your hairs, existing hair, and also transplanted hair will be stronger than before. And also during the operation, sometimes you know the blood pressure is like going down or up. That's why you know we need to use this, Dr. Cine and the team. They are gonna control it. Yuck. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright. 
So we are going to uh, see Dr. Sinek right now. He's gonna have a consultation with him. He's gonna draw his hair line, okay? And he'll give you some information about the surgery. So let's go. Hello, how are you? What's up, boss? How are you? Are you Dr. Sinek? Yes. What's up, man? Your movie star today. Okay, Michael. How old are you? Age? 25. Where are you from? Boston. Any disease? Any health problem? Asthma, diabetes, blood pressure. Okay. Surgery? Any kind of in the past? Uh, uh, knee surgery, meniscus. Okay. Allergy? Any allergic reactions? Sulfur drugs. Huh. Did you use some medication? Multivitamin. Multivitamin. Supplement. Probiotic. Fish oil. For hair loss treatment? Minoxidil. Benastral. I used min keeps minoxidil and finasteride. For how long? About a year. One year, okay. Smoke? No. Alcohol? Yes. Okay. Yeah, bone quality is good. Not too bad. How is the genetic balance? Um, Father, uncle, everyone's bad. Huh? Both? Yeah. Bad luck, yeah? <laughs> I grow up, please. Normal. Right. Look at the mirror. This is for your hair life. <laughs> nice. Look at that. I grow up. I grow up. You see? The wrinkle is your face muscle. Uh huh. That is the face muscle is finished. Hair starting there. This okay. is our origin. Okay. And second, until here you have hair. Just here is complete. Just here is complete. But most important thing, the eyebrow. You bring in eyebrow up, the muscle. Normally, all the muscle it doesn't have hair. Interesting. Okay. This is a number one, this blue line. Here is the most important part. And the second, the crown part. Middle, you have hair, but when we will shave, if you see any bold space, we will bring that. Donor candidate is looking good. This side, our donor candidate, sir. This is our operation planning. He is looking like five. His hair type of little bit thin, but his donor candidate is good. Operation plan, one session. This is our target, more than 3,500 graph, and here is the planning, front and crown area. The operation is look like dental operation. The pain is same, needle is same. Tattoo is worse than hair transplant because the tattoo whole the procedure you feel the pain. Yeah. But or dental or hair transplant just beginning two three needles, maybe ten needles after that you don't feel. Two three to ten. <laughs> <laughs> and during the surgery you will be awake. You can go bathroom, you can eat something, you can play with your phone. Our nurses don't know too much English. If you need something, just tell them it's translate. We okay. have here 24 hours translate. Awesome. Okay? Sounds good. Now we will bring him upstairs, take his picture, shake his hair, and then we will start surgery. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And it will be your before pictures, Perfect. and uh, of course you'll have after pictures too. Yeah, yeah. Be the backdrop, huh? Nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice Thank you. You're welcome. There you are, my model. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshoot is done. Okay, right now. Shave, 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 shave. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. And your shoes too. And my shoes. Uh -huh. oh, without gloves actually, we can just under them before. Mm -hmm. and just without needles going into my head. And then. 
just the drill sound the entire time. Like, shit, am I getting lobotomized? <laughs> just chill. Yeah. Fucking killed, right? Yeah. Michael, I don't see you, man. Alright, I hope I see you again, dude. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How you feeling, Michael? Everyone wave to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, aliens. We got Michael here. He's on his Xanax. He's passed out. We got the whole gang here. Just know the position. And uh, he looks like he's got a, an alien head right now, but let's take a look. <laughs> Operation is finished, like almost seven hours. More than 4,000 grams, looking very good. We focus in here, and then here is too, here just a little bit, you have here area. Now you will go to the hotel, the rest time. Tomorrow morning I will check his hair again, and okay. I will give him information, how to care, how to wash, about post-operation care. My hair is also transplant. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so it works. Tomorrow we will do the laser for you. See you tomorrow. All right, aliens, surgery day is done with. I'm checking out for the day. They got me on a bunch of Xanax, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna go over what to do after, and that'll be the second video. Peace. Together we got power. That's just rapping.